London, Ontario duo Cord calling Denise Conway and Brian Conway. Now, you guys are married, and when did you decide to start a band together, or have you always done this? We played music before we were married together some, but our relationship has always involved music. It's just part of it, I guess. <laughs> so we've been married for around 20 years, so it's been a long time. <laughs> I've seen Cord Calling stuff from 2008. When would you say that your band started? Well, before we were Cord Calling, we did some kind of acoustic folk stuff, and then we decided to make it to be Cord Calling and do more kind of rock music Okay. Cord calling probably around 2008 is probably whenever it started. If if you were seeing 2008, that that would have been early cord calling. Yeah. But before that, we still played music together, just not under that duo. Yeah. Okay. So Denise, you're on drums. Brian, you're on guitar. And we were talking before this interview. It kind of gives me the white stripes kind of feel in some songs, your earlier stuff I was listening to just before we started here. And you've got two albums out, 2010's Obsessed by the Light and 2016, We Are Still. So can we expect another album coming out soon? Right now we're kind of uh, practicing up to record. We've recorded a couple songs and we're, we're practicing up new songs and refining new songs for recording. We're kind of at the preparation stage, like we're writing songs still right now for the, probably another album, yeah. But we, yeah. no hard and fast uh, plans there. <laughs> okay, and who does the writing? Do you write together or is one of you take that on or does one of you write the lyrics, one of you write the music? Well, usually one of us will get an idea on our own, kind of come up with the idea and refine it a little bit and then we bring it to each other and the other person maybe refines it a bit more. So we each get songs. We, we both have written our own songs, but we bring them together and refine them together, basically. Although lately, as we've been acting for this gig in Sarnia actually coming up, we've actually been uh, often kind of coming up with parts together, which isn't really our normal way of writing songs. Normally, one of us writes the main structure of the song. Like, the whole idea kind of comes to one of us. Right. But lately, for some reason, whenever Brian kind of hits something in one of the songs when we're practicing, often it's like a little mistake. Not that he makes a lot of mistakes, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll just hear something. I'm like, oh, can you do that again? And then we just start writing kind of together, just playing together. So it, it's weird. Um, it's... Our style of writing is changing right now, I think. Okay. Usually, when I get a, a song come to me, it usually comes pretty quickly. I, I'll get a main part, and then a few minutes later, there's usually another part or a couple more parts that come, and, and then I refine it later, refine it more. But they kind of come to us. That we don't really sit down and decide to write a song. It just kind of hits us, comes to us. And then we try to figure out what's coming. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, we're... We're just trying to tune in to what's already coming to us. We're not, like, trying to make it happen, which is probably what a lot of musicians would say. Okay. If people want to listen to your music, they can find it on the digital platforms and also YouTube. I'm, I love, love, love your music video for Happy. It's going back a little bit, but it still rings true today. And that made you guys finalists for Best Southwestern Ontario Music Video. Yes, in the film festival in London, yeah. And then you also have a video for your latest song. A Ransom Felon. The, the video in the church window. Yeah, the song is short, sweet, and to the point. You guys get your point out in a very short song. It's very powerful. Yeah, that's uh, Brian wrote that one. <laughs> My songs are usually shorter and kind of punchy. Denise's are... Often a little more flowy, a little more delicate. So you guys are playing Sarnia's Sound of Summer on August 17th, and that's at Paul Blundy Park. And you played that last year, right? Uh, well, we played um, in the same music series in Sarnia last summer. However, we played at Germain Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we played at, uh, with the same series um, before COVID, actually, um, at Centennial Park, right. uh, which was great. Yeah. Okay. This time we're planning on playing acoustically. Well, it'll go through the PA, PA, obviously, through a sound system, but it's, it's going to be acoustic. The Denise's hand drum and my acoustic guitar. The other two times we played electric. Okay. When you say hand drum, is that like... A bongo? It's a, like it's a bigger, so it's a djembe. Oh, okay. So let's say like, it's kind of bongo is more more like the two, and they're smaller. This one's like a bigger one. It has a really deep sound, actually, and I can get some different sounds out of it. It's really cool. It's an African drum, and actually hers is hand-carved in Ghana. 
I believe. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And, and so, we get to play it a lot, so it'll be fun. K106.3 in Sarnia, the radio station, has a show called Beyond Mainstream, and they're going to be featuring you August 6th at 8 p.m. Yes. Is that going to be live, or are they going to be playing the recorded music? So it's going to be recorded music. That's often his format, and there's there's no interview or anything. But there'll be a, like a mixture of um, our first album, songs from our first album, and songs from our second album. So some off Obsessed by the Light, Light and some off of uh, We Are Still. Well, that'll be a great thing to listen to to gear up for Sounds of Summer coming up August 17th at Paul Blundy Park in Sarnia. Thank you guys so much for taking the time with me. And I look forward to hearing new music come out from you guys when you do. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll let you know. Yeah. And check out chordcalling.com for updates on that. We don't even know when it's coming out, so it's exciting. We've got uh, videos on YouTube. If you want to check out YouTube, you can hear us on K106 FM, Beyond Mainstream. August 6th, 8 p.m. That's right. Okay. And we've got all the other stuff, Facebook and all that kind of stuff too. So we love connecting with people.